YouTube, how y'all feel it? It's AC Lucky, the best vlogger on YouTube. Back with another video, yo. But look, y'all. I'm saying, I hope y'all chill it. I hope you cool it. I hope you uh, uh staying awake, you feel me? Hope you really paying attention to what's going on around you. I'm saying, just chillax and go with the flow of life, of the universe. Just go with the flow, you feel me? Go with the flow. And I guarantee you something mag magical is going to happen in your life. You feel me? Uh, this is something beautiful, as y'all see. This is something beautiful. This is something that you created. You created this, whoever you are, if you believe it or not. And I feel like some people, they just gonna be ignorant. They they just love being ignorant. You feel me? Don't be one of those people that always ignorant. That's always stuck up. They don't want to learn nothing. You feel me? Cause when you don't want to learn nothing, you not gonna be able to teach yourself. You feel me? You're not going to be able to teach yourself. You can run game, but you can't run game on a nigga that know the game to this shit. You feel me? You can't run game on me. You feel me? I've been here for thousands of years. I'm just happy I'm back. <laughs> I'm just happy I'm back, nigga. You feel me? It's like, you just got to be happy that you're alive and you able to do what you want. You feel me? Because I look at it like this. I put myself in other people's shoes. I'm like, damn. He's in a cell 24 hours in a day. He's in the hole. He's not getting out. No sunlight, no none of that. That's his torture. You feel me? I don't want to be in that position. I'm in a position to change somebody's life. I'm in a position to really do what I want to do. I'm in a position to speak to, a, to this illusion-ass fucking camera. This shit not real. None of you niggas real. I'm going to say, I look at it like, I feel like I'm the only real nigga in the world. <laughs> Even though that's not the truth, though. <laughs> it's like... You just gotta hype yourself up, fam. You just gotta hype yourself up and walk your dog or some shit, nigga. Walk your dog or something. I'ma say this again. I said, white people was afraid of black people. That's the thousand percent truth, nigga. If you see a nigga, I'm not gonna even call us niggas. When you see a guy looking at the sun and you a white person, what's going through your mind? You may think he a superpower. You, I said a superpower. You may think he a superhero or something. Like, <clears throat> me personally. If I see a guy, a melanated being, sun gazing, he has crystals, he has crystals on and stuff like that. I would think he's a superhero. I would think he do magic. I would think I, I would like this would go through my mind. You feel me? But I'm not saying all white people are afraid of black people. I'm saying the low vibrational white people are afraid of black people. That's why they paint us as a a thug, as a bitch, as a nigga. That's why they paint us in that image. The white man did that shit, you feel me? Let's talk deep about this shit. The white man did it. The, let's blame the white man for all this shit. Let's blame the white man for the low income of uh, homes and shit like that, you feel me? Let's blame the white man. Because he did. I'm saying he did. He targeted us every single day. <laughs> you feel me? So I don't want to hear none of my melodated beings in the comment section saying like, oh, it's because they... Because the image, because the way we treat ourselves, the way we go against each other. Yeah. They want us to go against each other. They want us to call each other. They want us to call each other's niggas and bitches because they know who we are. And we start calling ourselves gods. We going to begin to really take over this shit. We going to remember like, okay, okay, we actually created this. This is actually our planet Kai. So like. Let's take this shit and come, let's take, let's come together and take this shit. Like, they took our shit. That's why it be clouds in the sky. You feel me? Because these reptilians can't take the sun. You feel me? But me in life, I said me in life, but me as the person I am, I don't really care. I don't really care. I feel free to speak my mind because I know what I'm saying. And... The ones that can relate to me, they know what I'm saying. They like, oh shit. Young boy know what he's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, man. Don't let these people fool us. Don't let these people make it seem like we the criminals. They the fucking criminals. You feel me? They the criminals. They cause all this shit. They made us the victim. You feel me? I don't want to hear nobody saying like, you was the victim. You is a victim, bro. You is the victim. All that shit they taught you in school, you a victim. All that shit they taught you at church, you a victim. All that shit they taught you in your low-income environment, you a victim. All that shit they taught you in your environment, you a victim. 
You fell into society. You fell into the traps. You know what I'm saying? It's traps. They, 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 they prepare for you when you are born. You feel me? It's traps. Once you come out the womb, you are already traumatized. You feel me? It's traps. You got to really look what's on the ground and don't fall into the trash. You got to jump over shit. It's snakes in the grass. You know what I'm saying? You can't be afraid of that snake. Because you, you, you a warrior. You a king, whoever you want. You have whatever, have whoever, whatever you want to call yourself. You a queen. You a goddess. You a god. That snake fuck with you. You can communicate with that snake. And you didn't even know that. You didn't know you could communicate with animals. You didn't know that your presence heals people alone. Like, when you're in people's presence, you are healing people. You didn't even know that. You didn't know how powerful your energy is, bro. You got to really tap into that. You got to tap into your superpowers, like the powers they give you, they gave you to use. Stop being afraid to tap into, tap into yourself. Stop being afraid to get the information for yourself because it's, it's in you. It's always been in you. It's always been you. You feel me? It's always been you. Yeah, God. Yeah, God, I'm talking to nature. That's God and the ancestors talking to me. You feel me? I just want to thank y'all for even watching this vlog, this movie. I don't even call these vlogs. I call these moves because this is really my life. <clears throat> I'm, getting, I'm being guided to make these videos because I know one of these videos is going to click. And another one gonna click, and another one gonna click, and another one gonna click, and it's gonna be like, damn, that's that was AC Lucky. Oh my, sh oh my god. Yeah, when you coming up, niggas, people gonna sleep on you, but I feel like people already know who's up next just by using their intuition. You feel me? You gotta use your intuition. You can't keep going to these random female houses if you not use your intuition. You know what I'm saying? You got to really use your intuition. They don't play fair. These people don't play fair. You feel me? These people do not play fair. If you think these people play fair, you know what I'm saying? Rethink your life. These people don't play fair. The people that run this world don't play fair. Your own kind not going to play fair with you, especially if you are a, a, a God that handle your business. You feel me? If you a God that handle your business, if you a God that take care of your children, like people envy stuff like that. Envy, I'm saying, it, it, it's very dangerous. Envy is very dangerous. People will really kill and destroy because of envy. You feel me? Envy causes a lot of destruction. You feel me? So really use your intuition. A woman, a goddess, a queen, she has a powerful intuition. That's one of her gifts. She can really predict something that's coming. Like your mom can say, don't you go over her house. Don't you go across the street. And once you go across the street, you got hit by a car. Yeah, your mama knew that shit. Your mom knew that shit. She, she tapped into some other shit, you feel me? She tapped into her soul. She tapped into this world because she know this world is nothing but spiritual. It's spiritual all around you. I'm saying it's spiritual all around you. I'm saying you got to really type it. You got to really learn psychology. You don't got to go to school to learn psychology, you feel me? So... Silence is very powerful. You got to use silence when you are in an argument. You got to use silence when someone thinks they're right, but you know they're wrong. You got to use silence. You know what I'm saying? Silence is very important. So when you meet someone, you got to look at their hands. You got to look at their feet. You got to look at their body legs. You got to look You got to look at everything. Like Everything about it, like, you got to look at everything. Like, look at their whole aura. Look at their whole aura. When you meet somebody, look at their whole aura. Do they got life in their eyes? You could tell when somebody got life in their eyes. That's a fact. You could tell when somebody don't got life in their eyes. It's nothing but greed. You got to look at their whole appearance and their whole aura. It will help you realize that everybody has an aura. The aura is the colorful flag. You know that flag that they uh, use to, uh, to, to, to promote LGBTB? What that shit called? The, uh, the little, that little community shit? 
You, you know that flag? They took that flag from us. That's the uh, color of the aura. What the fuck? I thought a nigga was behind me. But that's the flag they use to promote a Jenna. But that's the flag. That's the color of the aura. That flag you see that's hanging up and people support it, that's the color of the aura. You feel me? That's very demonic. I'm not a person that judge people of what they got going on in their personal life. But, like, in reality, that's a demonic agenda. That's very demonic. You feel me? Because they push that onto kids. You feel me? That's how these people play. That's how these people play. So, when you see that flag in your classroom, that's not right. They pushing that onto kids. They telling these kids it's, that's okay. But that's not okay. It's, that's not okay, you feel me? Because you were sent here for a purpose. You was not sent here to be somebody that you are not. You are not that. You are bigger than that. You are much more powerful than that. That's why they try to take your power from you at a young age. That's why they try to program you to believe in certain religions and certain things and certain boogeymans and shit like that because they want you to they want to take your power away from you you feel me they want to take your power that's what they try to do to these kids that's what they do to these kids they take their powers away from away from them at a young age you feel me like say for example they it's a church it's a church these people go to it's a church these people go to and at the church they 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 kill they kill babies you feel me they kill babies and they eat them they eat these babies they eat them and they got little kids around that's watching this happen whole lot of molestation whatever it's called molestation like molesting kids that's that's going on in that church that's going on in that church they molesting these kids they forcing these kids to kill that baby and eat that baby like they taking these kids souls away from them they traumatizing these kids they getting these kids ready they preparing these kids to be a mason they preparing these kids to be like a shape shifter a witch like they preparing these kids to be evil you feel me it, it really goes deep it's, it's really disturbing it's really disturbing, you feel me? I'm not going to lie, it's very, it's very disturbing. And I, I don't even want to talk about that stuff, you really? You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to talk about that stuff, bro. That shit is it's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It's very, it's very messed up and it's very like, it's like, dang, like, they really do us so dirty and they paint us as the criminal and they paint us as the, uh, the bad guy, but these people are the bad guys. These are the people that watch us 24-8. You know what I'm saying? How are we the bad guys? Because we... We killing each other. That's not right. Even though we killing each other, that's not right. Y'all made us this way. Y'all, I'm not going to say y'all made us this way, but y'all programmed our generations to do that. Y'all got in between that. Y'all y'all was working with the biggest drug dealers in every city. Y'all gave them cocaine. Y'all gave them drugs. Y'all gave them weapons. Y'all gave them guns. Y'all, y'all the people that masked up as us and took out the other people. <coughs> shit but i was saying like they be masking up as black men to take out the enemy so when they take out that person that's on that block now the people that's on that block think those people that took out them if that makes sense i could go deep on this shit because i got a lot i got a lot of i got a lot of past life memory you feel me i got a lot of past life memories and it's like i can't expose the yes all day but i love y'all man i hope this video helped y'all i know this video got very deep at the end that's not my fault it's just i'm being guided to make these videos they speaking through me the ancestors speaking through me the ancestors working through me God is speaking through me he's working through me she's working through me they is working through me my ancestors working through me so yeah, for sure. Take care of yourself. Spread a positive message. I'm saying, if you see somebody down, pick them up. It's not that hard. I love y'all, man.